Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Mariah. Right. What? What are you saying? My name is Mariah Mona. Y'all can see it right down below. Before the video even start, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But y'all can see what hair I'm using right here. I got everything up on the screen because I'm not saying all of it because I'm lazy. But I'm going to be using me some coconut oil, some rubber bands. What else? A comb, of course. And my brush. And my other brush. I don't really know the difference. Time to take that bonnet off. Oh, child, what is that? Um, as y'all can see, I'm not that red anymore. I know I said I wasn't gonna put no dye on my hair, y'all, but that red had to go. All I did was put a little bit of brown. But as you see me doing right here, I'm just oiling my scalp with my coconut oil. I've really been loving coconut oil. It's been keeping my hair so moisturized, and I'm just putting the rest on my ends and stuff. Now I'm about to just split my hair straight down the middle. This hairstyle is pretty pretty simple, like. It's just a back ponytail. Like right now, all you're going to be seeing me doing is making a middle part ponytail. Right here, I'm just trying to make my part straight. For some reason, I've been having problems with making my part straight. But I'm splitting my hair into three different sections. Well, it's going to be four, but right now it's just three. So this is the first section, the upper left front. The upper left front. Does that even make any sense, Mariah? And I'm doing the same thing on that side. And then I'm going to split the back in half like from ear to ear so i have four different sections the two sides and then the two in the back and then we're just gonna start off with the back of my head whenever i put this in the scrunchie there we go and i'm gonna pin them up to get them on my way i'm starting off with my eco this is also the coconut oil one this one is so good because it doesn't dry hard i hate gels that dry hard but I'm just taking it and focusing on the back section I had first. And I'm putting gel all over it. Then I'm going to brush it. Brush, brush. Y'all see all that brush, period. Then I'm going to take three little rubber bands. Or you can use scrunchies. I like using rubber bands because it makes the ponytail slicker. But I'm just going to wrap it around like a regular ponytail. And then after that, I'm going to take that top section out and put that into the same ponytail that I just made. So y'all going to see me brush it out. Then use my Eco, again, the coconut oil one because it's great. I love it. It smells so nice. I would recommend that one. Put it all over that section. Brush it down and put it in a ponytail. Like, that's what we doing. Three more scrunchies, little rubber bands, three of them. And I wrapped it around about three times. You don't want it to be too tight because it will hurt. Like, it looks like it's hurting me right now. Then you want to focus on one of the sides. Did I tell y'all why my face is so fat? Yo, my face, like, one side of my face looks fat because I just got my um, wisdom teeth removed on one side. <coughs> I'm dying. But right here, you see me taking out my little sideburns or whatever you want to call them. I like to have a lot of hair on the side. Um, That's my business. So if that's not your cup of tea, don't put that much hair out. And now I'm just clipping it out the way so it doesn't end up in the ponytail. Now I'm going to split this into two different sections, a back and a front part. I'm so sorry if you could hear that loud car outside. But now I'm going to brush that first piece that I made out of that piece. Put my eco on there. My lovely coconut, because I love coconut for some reason. Then I'm going to do the same thing with that piece. Put the But before I do that, I'm taking out my edges, as you can see. All that edge. All them adult hairs, those is not edges, Mariah. Yeah, and then I'm brushing the back pieces. And then I'm going to apply some eco to my edges to make sure they don't end up in the ponytail. Because this ponytail would not be cute if I didn't have no edges, yo. Oh, my God. Make sure you do some edges with this. And then I'm putting the eco on the actual ponytail part. And then I'm going to brush that whenever I decide to take out the brush. There we go. I'm going to brush that into the same ponytail that I've been working with this whole time. Being careful not to put your edges in there. Then you want to just take three more scrunchies whenever I grab them. Not scrunchie, rubber bands. Three more rubber bands. And wrap it around that ponytail. Watch this horrible transition I'm about to do, y'all. So once I finish this side, I'm about to do this terrible transition. Look at this. Put that rubber band on there, girl. Now I'm about to do that side. Here's the stupid-ass transition. Look. It wasn't even it wasn't even good it wasn't even good but 
Anyways, I finished the other side. I did the same thing on the other side. I just put it into the back of the ponytail and slicked it down. Now I'm doing my edges, my big ass adult hairs. Y'all see it. Y'all see me. Y'all see me. I kind of really didn't do too much with these edges. I kind of just let them do what they wanted to do because I feel like it makes the style look better. But I just doing the same thing on the other side. Just a little swoop doo loop swoop doop doo swoop doop doo loop See, I kind of let them lay how they wanted to. Then I took that clip off that side. And now I'm about to braid that little ponytail I have. Had to fast forward for y'all because I was taking forever. If y'all see that black mark on my neck, it's because it's from the dye I put on my hair. I ain't dirty. Now I'm taking the hair out. Taking another rubber band off. Make sure you subscribe. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Now I'm just brushing that hair out. I undid like the little pieces. And now I'm putting glue on the end of the weft. I think that's how you say it. End of the weft. That's the glue I'm using. It was so cheap, y'all. It was like a dollar at this hair store. But I got it at my local beauty spot. I'm putting it at the end of the weft. I'm so sorry for this loud, ca this loud car outside. But I'm putting it at the bottom of my braid. Once I get it where I want it at the bottom of the braid, I'm going to hold it on there. I was being too lazy and I didn't feel like getting a blow dryer, so I was just kind of fan it with my hand. But you got to sit there and let that dry for a second. Then after you get the little piece on there, you don't have to put glue all over the track. You can literally wrap it up real tight and then ever so often you put a little bit more glue just so taking it down isn't too hard. You could also put hair wraps on your hair and put more glue, but I don't like the hassle of the crunchiness of a hair wrap. So I like to just put little tiny pieces as I go up instead of putting glue all over my hair if that makes sense see how i wrapped up some and now i'm putting more glue that's how i would do it well that's how i did it <laughs> but this glue be stubborn it'll be not trying to come out all stingy but yeah you see how i got that piece now every time you add a new piece not a new piece every time you add another uh little bit of uh, glue you want to hold it on there for like five minutes Maybe not even that, and just keep wrapping up and applying glue, like, every, like, five reps or something like that. And as y'all can see, I'm just going straight up the ponytail, adding glue every time I, like, every other time I wrap. Something like that. Just, you like, once you're doing it, you'll understand that you don't have to put glue that much because it'll stay. Just make sure you put enough and not too little bit. I better apply that glue, period. Once I got, like, towards the top of my hair, I had to, like, move to the back. But I think this is the last piece of glue I'm putting on. Why do I keep saying piece of glue? You wrap it until you get to the end of the trick. And then once you get to the end of that trick... Who was texting me? Once you get to the end of the trick, you want to take the piece, like, like a little tiny piece from the end of the trick, and you want to wrap it around the um trick so you can't see it. Now, you could use got to be for this part, but I'm going to comb it out and put a little bit of hair glue on the bottom of the track, like the piece that's not going to be showing on the outside. You'll see me do it in a second. See how I'm wrapping it kind of like in a circle? I'm going to take this glue, this stingy glue that did not be wanting to come out, so I had to use all my strength to squeeze it out. It's not trying to come out. I had to use that palm strength but yeah i just kind of smeared it on that piece of hair and then i wrapped it around the ponytail to cover the tracks up like i said and then same thing with this you don't have to add that much hair glue you just add hair glue like every two times you wrap i'm about to add a little bit more glue i think i think that's what i'm about to do yeah and it did not want to come out, as usual. I had to literally look at the bottle to make sure it was glue coming out. There it go. And you kind of just want to add a little bit of glue because this stuff can turn a different color. If you don't, if your hair isn't like a dark color like this, it'll be that dark color. Like where you put the glue, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making sense. But then I just added a little bit more glue just to like smear it around to make sure it was in like a perfect circle when i turn my head y'all understand what i'm saying because i probably sound crazy 
but this is me just smearing it. And then once you hold it back there for a second, it should be stuck. It should be up and it's stuck. Now I'm just brushing out this hair. This hair really isn't bad. It was only $10. And this will last you, like, as long as you want it to last. You could do it for a week, take it out, reuse the hair. I'm telling you, you could really use this hair. It's good hair. But y'all see that little piece sticking out on the back? I had to cut that. I cut it eventually. But now I'm about to flat iron it. But I did that off camera because y'all know what flat iron is. Like, I'm, like I didn't have to show y'all that. But this is the final product. This is what we got. After I cut that annoying piece in the back. Girl, you was too hype. Calm down. Calm down. I know your hair ain't done it, been done in a minute. But shut up. Now I'm about to turn around. Y'all see what I was talking about with the little circle thing? But... It's a little crooked because of the way I was holding my head, but it's okay with me because I don't hold it to the back anyway. I usually have it to the side like that so it can be crooked, but that's it, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Bye.